Welcome to the video, guys. So today, what we're going to be working on is our model Amanda's hair. And if you uh, check out the before and really keep that in your mind until the end, uh, today we're going to do a transformation. We're going to lighten her. So I'm going to do uh, a base lightening and... Uh, she's really sitting at about a level seven, so I chose Joyco Blonde Life. Uh, it gives you nine plus levels of lift. We don't need that because she's already at a level seven, so I'm using 20 volume, keep things gentle. Obviously, if you looked at her ends previously, uh, they're in pretty bad shape, so I don't want to get too much of that lightener touching the ends during this technique, um, but I do want to uh, develop uh, an even canvas throughout her head. So I'm gonna start working on the base, painting that lightener right on the scalp. It's a on and off the scalp lightener. Um, I also mix it to be a little bit wetter uh, of a consistency. First off, because if lightener dries up, it doesn't give you as much lift. Second, because we're going right on the scalp and we're lifting her, I want to make sure that that saturates all of the hair uh, so that we get that consistent lift and the consistent base. So um, I just work my way through her entire head, really painting on uh, the root area right down to almost the mid shaft because she has a ton of growth. So I know we've all been in this situation uh, as hairdressers where, you know, you have a client that doesn't come back in that often. So uh, Amanda is definitely that person uh, in this case. So uh, this is the first time I've done her hair, but now we'll try to keep her on a more consistent basis, which in turn will keep her hair healthier. I'm always telling my guests, you know, you got to make sure you stay consistent, stay on that four week regimen, because if you don't, you let it go too long. You got to do way more processing um, every three months than you would if you just do every month and you're just touching up a tiny little bit of root. So you're keeping the hair nice and healthy. So another thing you'll probably notice is that I started in the front of her head first, um, in the top of her head. That's what everybody sees, so I want to make sure I get that um, nice and light and consistent first and get that going, and then I started to work my way into the back. Now with Amanda's hair, um, it's pretty typical, but she didn't have any highlights underneath. So that could have been a budget thing or whatever, but she never really got that highlighted. So um, I wanted to go through and, and lighten that as well. That's all virgin hair, so it lifts pretty fast. Um, the other thing I noticed as I started to really work into her hair um, was that it was very inconsistent with where the lightning uh, was, so the previous lightning was. So um, I had to pull the lightener a little further through than I wanted to, but um, I did that towards the end so that I wouldn't have to worry about any damaging. I definitely think that this goes to show for the Joyco lightener, though. Um, you saw Amanda's hair at the very beginning, and the way that it looks in the after is just unbelievable. So um, we process the lightener for 30 minutes and then you can see how beautiful and bright and consistent it got. I didn't want to put Olaplex in it even though I would in the salon probably because I wanted to showcase what the lightener could do. So now we're gonna have some fun. This is the new Joyco Luma Shine. Um, dimensional deposit hair color. So um, I love this. It's a, a level eight silver blue. Um, so I'm really excited to put this in her hair because she wanted that gray kind of feeling to her hair. So I wanted to do a deeper level eight base um, to kind of give a shadow root. And then I'm going to go in with the 9NV with a little bit of 10 in, like a dash of 10 in in there. Both of these formulas are with five volume and I'm doing it on completely dry hair. So uh, those are key things to know as we go into this. So what all I'm gonna do really with this technique is paint um, the root area with the 8SB, which is the silver blue. And then I'm gonna go uh, color melt the 9NV with a splash of 10N. I'm gonna pull that through mid shaft and ends. So right now this is the 8SB. I'm gonna paint that through. I still love, I can't even believe with the 20 volume how bright she got. I'm really excited to uh, color her hair again in the future because she lifted so easily. That was one process through that. So one of the interesting things is Joyco, you know, they sent me these products to try out and to put on a video. Um, so, and then I get to create content based on the products and then share it with you guys for free, right? So, um, but one of the interesting things is it kind of worked out for Amanda because we used the Blonde Life Lightener, which lifted her up. But then this uh, 
DD or the new LumaShine series dimensional deposit, it's all about repairing the hair. So it adds shine to the hair. It helps rebuild, uh, reduce breakage. Um, it nourishes and protects and seals in moisture. So there's so many different benefits to um, the LumaShine DD series that it's, it's a, a great thing that we're using this on Amanda right now. And I think when I look at the end result and what happened with her hair, that's exactly what happened. It, we overlaid it with this product and it made the hair feel really great. So um, I'm going through one thing definitely notice is that I take that deeper base, the, the level eight SB, and I'll put that through from pretty much the occipital bone down because I wanted to put some depth in her hair. And naturally, when you think about sunlight hitting the hair and all of that, when we, we look at this from a natural standpoint, um, the deeper tone would be underneath. So I wanted to make sure I'm, you know, not that I'm, making this look natural because we're making it gray, but um, the fact is I want it to have a natural flow to it uh, in the end result. So now I'm pulling the, the NV through. Uh, so one thing that I'll do is I, I work the NV all the way from uh, mid shaft to ends, and then I'll take a little bit of the 8SB and I'll paint it again over the root and just kind of rub the two colors together. And that helps me mix them and kind of melt everything, or you can call it a color melt together um, to get a nice blend in the end result. So last little bit here, this is the 9NV, but then like I said, I'm going to go through and I'm going to pull that uh, level 8 SB through the bottom, all this little bottom section. And I'm definitely more organic with my color placement than I am with my hair cutting. Uh, hair cutting, I'm definitely more precise. With color, I like to just kind of paint it as it lives very organically. So we'll work that through, twist it up, and paint it up. So that's the last bit of this. So what we're gonna do is process that for the next 30 minutes and then I get to show you guys the end result. So we're going to use the Joico Power Whip. This is a whipped foam. It's got a really strong hold. Uh, so I like it for not only adding condition and shine, but a nice hold um, as I'm doing my iron work and anything like that. So I go through with my paddle brush and then get it smoothed out. You can see the end result. Beautiful, beautiful blonde. I love the 8SB kind of darkened shade at the root and then how crisp and clean that 10N with the, or the 9NV with the 10N looks uh, through the ends. So I hope you guys like this. Let me know if you have any questions. Hit me up on social media. Uh, now we're gonna add a little texture, have a little fun with it. This is the Joico Beach Shake. They also sent me this product. This has actually become one of the favorites in our salon for creating texture. It's a really cool texture spray. So you can see that haircut come to life and I do have the haircut filmed as well. So that will be coming out on a later video. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.